And we're back with the uh, fifth point. Uh, and right off the gate, I want you to watch something here on the opening rush. Number 20, Jerry McKinney goes down. And <laughs> knee to the head. If you've seen on my Facebook, uh, that is where the human pancake picture comes from. Right there. Just takes a devastating knee to the head. But he was a trooper, stayed in, and uh, played well at this point. Yeah, Jared said that he thought he might have dis re-dislocated his shoulder after that. but And that was his welcome to the team. Yep. <laughs> I said, hey, you got to have some sort of wicked dodgeball. Not injury, but occurrence happen to you, whether it be a headshot, a nut shot, uh, some type of thing happening off the opening rush before you're really initiated into the dodgeball fraternity. And now, he's a full member. Welcome to the team, buddy. Um, let's see. Western is up 3 nothing at this point, and um, UK morale just starting to kind of go more and more into the tank. Um, you can just kind of see their guys just... Not really. That competitive fire kind of gone out. They're just not they're, really playing to have fun, but yeah, they're being more lackadaisical. That's a good. That's a perfect way to put it, Felix. Nice job. I've yeah. been looking for an excuse to words that, use that word all day. So. Is it on your uh, word of the day calendar? Sure something? is. <laughs> nice. Um, and UK actually had the advantage uh, after halftime of uh, having the recessed wall behind them that went into a couple of. Uh, couple of the equipment rooms yep. and a couple stairwells. Uh, you see we have the solid brick wall behind us this time, but I thought we did a great job keeping the balls from going straight back to their side. Yeah. Uh, whether smartly or not, we oftentimes would turn around and grab balls off the wall instead of just sticking our arms and legs out. I'm not a big them. fan of turning around in the middle of the dodgeball game, but <laughs> if it works, I guess it's okay. Yeah, I think this is one game where we can probably get away with it more than others um, but as you notice we uh, have some good uh, good group throws uh, on the left side there Tyler Jerry we could almost classify him as a sideline assassin he loves to hang out and he doesn't actually grippy throw oh really no I don't think so um, if he does it's a very weird looking grippy because <laughs> it doesn't go down it actually almost rises to a certain extent if you watch him throw. A lot of his throws actually start out really low. Like, he'll get down and do the sidearm mm -hmm. that uh, Ben Sobchak made famous. Yep. And, uh, yeah, his throws go straight for your feet, so that's why he has so much success a lot of the time. And uh, Bryce Robinson going with the uh, spin throw that uh, was uh, popular in the Ohio State game used by Alex Young, I found out is his first name. Uh, so the spin throw, quite a popular, quite a popular uh, throwing choice. It's effective and it looks cool. It is, especially if you can do it backwards, like yeah. like Alex Young can. That's pretty awesome. He like always likes to scream. He goes, ah! But you know that makes it terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I hate when people scream when they throw. It scares me. <laughs> um, but a lot of their players hanging out on the baseline here. Um, and uh, number 21, we said was one of their better arms. Uh, but he had a lot of problem with accuracy, uh, as you can see. Uh, I don't think, I don't even know if he actually made but a couple kills. I'm not sure, but... The only time I ever saw him connect with someone was uh, Jared Silverthorne right, right in the beginning of the first point, but he was already out at that point. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I think this is actually the point where... Um, Let's see. Number 33, Zach Kaffenberger and Michael Jackson have a dance-off near half court. <laughs> uh, I'm not positive, though. Uh, you can see number four kind of pushing up like he always does, Michael Jackson, and he's kind of antagonizing when he kind of backed off once he sees hell. Is Jazzy in this one? Uh, I think I am. Yeah, you're in yeah, the back. Yeah, I'm in the very back underneath the basketball goal. I always get you, Jared, and sometimes uh, Tyler Jury mixed up, so... Yeah, I can see how the knee brace that, you know, yeah. wouldn't be a giveaway on Tyler Jerry. Just the blonde hair and the stout figure. Well, you know, I do what I can. Yeah. I just look for the hunched over one who has a jersey tucked in. <laughs> There's only two players that tucked in their jerseys this game, I think, me or Nick, so you've got a 50-50 chance. Yep. And a couple Western players going out there on that, that throw. I think that might have been Malcolm. I'm not positive, though, on the back baseline. And it looks like, I thought, Kaffen, was that Kaffenberger there? Yeah. I thought he got number four on the foot, but apparently not. Yeah. 
We'll just trust what the what he said because yeah. I never have liked when teams sit there and moan and complain about you know who they potentially did or did not get out, and yeah. then a lot of times will end up getting tagged because they're arguing with the refs. Or-